fucking can and you can. So, have you been hunting here all year? Because that blind. I've been hunting here my whole fucking life because this is my fucking land. Well, that blind, you're nobody. Knocking down, you're knocking down vegetation. Which is legal. You're knocking down vegetation. Which is legal. I'm not cutting it. Alright, call him, bud. I'm knee deep. So as long as as long as I'm in the water and my feet are wet and I don't get out of my boat, I'm fine. Sounds good. Have a good one. That's exactly why the duck hunting community gets a bad name. Guys like that show up five minutes before open, tell me I'm on his land. I'm on Lake Winnebago. It's a Thursday morning. I got out here about an hour before shooting light. You guys will recognize this spot if you've hunted here before. Paddled in, completely on water. Left the boat, but I was knee deep in water. I get here, here comes a light. There is a blind down the way, but I figured somebody would be here. He shows up like 10 minutes before shooting light, berates me, intimidates me, and tells me I'm a dumbass. I'm on private land, this is illegal, I shouldn't set up here. I'm a dumbass for setting up on the edge of the cattails, which is where everyone sets up, um, so that you can see. I'm close to his supposed blind, but first come, first serve, as far as in my opinion. Just because you have a blind here doesn't mean it's your spot. That exchange went on for several minutes before I turned the camera on. So we'll see what happens. I don't know where he went. My guess is that's not the last we've heard of him. He's probably set up down the way. And every time I have a bird work, he's going to shoot. I hope he does call the DNR. But you literally cannot make this stuff up. That is one of the stupidest exchanges I've ever had with a duff, duck hunter in my life. And I've had a lot of weird encounters and interesting things like that. It's a couple minutes before shooting light. We, uh... We'll see what happens. Like, leave a comment. I know this hunter harassment thing, like, people are using it as clickbait to get views and stuff like that. But it is really happening. And I feel like it's happening a lot more than it used to. And uh, it's wrong. It's completely wrong. And, like, if that guy was by himself and I'm by myself, and if he really wanted to hunt here and he wasn't a douchebag, like, I'm super cool. He seemed like he was about my age. He had a dog. I mean, all you got to do in a situation like that is be like, hey, bud, you know, I got a blind behind you, which I know that, but I don't know that he's going to show up. God, that bird scared me. I don't know that he's going to show up, but if he wasn't such a dick, we could have just hunted together, you know, and maybe made a new friend. But no, you got to be a complete asshole about it, you know, and like, that's not somebody I want to hunt with or even be around. Well, here's more hunter harassment. I don't know what this guy's doing, but... Something tells me he's gonna set up fishing right there. Watch this. That's totally him. Unbelievable. Let's see what he does. He's not gonna win, I'm gonna sit here. Yep. I'm gonna throw out the anchor and fish right in front of me. That sounds about right. Jesus Christ, what is this world coming to? There he is, pretending to fish. Maybe we can shoot a couple of ducks right in front of him, that'd be cool. All right, well, leave a comment. I don't know. What should I do? What would you do? Like, I, you literally cannot make this stuff up. This is absurd. I don't know if he called the DNR. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. If anything, he's harassing. And that's illegal. I guess we'll see if the DNR shows up or what he continues to do.
I'm not going. Did you call the DNR? I don't know if it's not like that. I don't need to. What does my shooting have anything to do with it? Hey, don't touch the little money on those stupid fucking decoys. That move. Don't touch the little money on those stupid fucking decoys. Well, I did miss. He's not wrong about that. But I couldn't shoot again because he was in the way. Go spend some more money on decoys. That was a good one. Double middle finger. Let me just keep the camera rolling. We're gonna get a video today whether we shoot a duck or not. But this is by far the worst hunter harassment I've ever dealt with. And here he comes again. I was hoping he'd go back. He might jump some ducks back there for me. Like, what is wrong with this? And there's other places back here he could hunt, too. It's like, I mean, I've hunted in this bay with like four or five groups of guys. And there's nobody back here but me and him go hunt a hundred yards down or whatever it was kind of an awkward shot over the weeds but <clears throat> i definitely was behind him maybe i made him feel better that i missed that duck i guess we'll never know i think he took pleasure in seeing me miss it but with shots like that he doesn't need to call the dnr thank god When I was watching him and four teal just went right over the decoys. You guys might have seen that. I told him I'm not leaving, so maybe he just decided to give up. Because I know he wasn't actually fishing. He did throw a pole in the water, but he wasn't actually fishing. He was just harassing me. All right, well, here's my spot. You can clearly see I am in the water. I'm completely legal. A little bit of a story here. <clears throat> I've been hunting this spot for, I'm 37. Actually, I'll be 37 here this month. I've been hunting this spot since I was in high school, since I was 17. Me and high school buddies used to come out here a lot. And back then we never had any issues. I remember probably 10 years ago, we used to hunt here quite a bit. And um, I remember a father and his daughter came out here several times. Um, a young, young daughter, probably 12, 15 two kids that were about 16, 17 actually died out here in this bay duck hunting. Um, they were a little bit younger than me, but uh, I went to high school with them. They actually died out here. They drowned, froze to death, hypothermia. Um, nobody really knows. Just thinking about that dad and his daughter or those two young kids come out here hunting and experience something like that really turns people off to hunting um, and I don't know that that happened to them and I'm pretty sure I've dealt with this guy before one other time about five years ago but people like that are just terrible for the hunting community he was intimidating and threatening and just all around like I mean he didn't really get to me but I'm a grown man I'm an adult I've dealt with situations similar to this but you just got to think about it like if there's kids or if if I brought my kids out here hunting and something like that happened, those kids are going to be scared. Um, and it's definitely going to leave a bad taste in their mouth and, and they're not going to want to hunt um, because of that. So people like him are what give hunters a bad name and they're absolutely terrible for the hunting community that's kind of my thoughts on it 
this is an easy spot to get to lots of people hunt it i've been hunting here on and off for almost 20 years and i've never had an experience like that there's lots of room out here there's nobody else hunting out here um, he could have set up 100 yards that way he could have set up 100 yards this way this is his spot but technically anyone can hunt here and as long as you're legal and you know do things the right way um, anyone can hunt here and he doesn't have the right to do what he did it's just completely wrong he will rest well knowing that I didn't shoot any of his ducks and he probably gets a little bit of satisfaction out of that it was a slow morning saw a lot of geese at, saw those couple woodies early and uh, a couple little groups of teal went over the decoys but I was you know distracted by him and uh, but all in all it was a beautiful morning I didn't see a whole lot of ducks my season has started if you guys have watched my first two videos our season has started pretty rough and uh, today just another one of those days and it was a beautiful morning other than what we dealt with there so I'm gonna clean up it's 10 o'clock I'm gonna head back to my truck make sure he didn't key it make sure he didn't smash my windows or something like that but uh, I don't know leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are on the whole situation and uh, what you guys would have done I didn't uh, provoke him really or anything like that I was here legally before shooting light like 45 minutes had all my stuff set up he is just uh, one of those bad apples, I suppose. But um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe for more. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.